And joining us now on Amarillo's Town Square, we've got Evelyn Rivers, and she's in today to talk about the Sunshine Cottage. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so glad to be here. Thank Ah. you for inviting me. Oh, we love having you in the studio with us. And of course, uh, Sunshine Cottage, this is a big deal. And I don't think uh, there are people out there that know about it, but uh, there are a lot of people who don't. So I guess let's just start off talking about what exactly is the Sunshine Cottage. I can do that. Evelyn's Sunshine Cottage was started actually out of our Christmas project workers going through the project and saying, what could we do to help families that they never have to exist with a nonprofit anymore? Mm -hmm. And it always came back to one word, and that was education. So in 2001, uh, with many volunteers' help, we opened our apartments called Evelyn's Sunshine Cottage, a second entity, totally diverse from Evelyn's Christmas project, Mm -hmm. two separate boards, two separate checking accounts. And the objective was to take poverty level, and homeless single-parent families, if they showed us desire and determination, we wanted them to live with us in order to obtain a college degree and get off the government system. Oh, amazing. They are, as a mom, the role model for their children to follow the same path. And so we've had success. This is our 15th year. We have 14 college graduates predominantly with four-year degrees. The two-year degrees are the hard task of becoming an RN, and some of those have stayed with us to receive their BSN in nursing. Oh, amazing. So we're very, very, very proud. They work very hard. Their goal is best grades possible, be the role model for their mom, learn to stand on their own two feet, and become the person that they would like to become. And you were telling me a minute ago that the ladies that are currently in the program all have a 3.0 uh, average right now or above. They do. They oh, do. They, so their objective has been the same as mine. They do want to make the best grades possible. Well, wonderful. Well, uh, Evelyn, I know with an uh, organization like this, you know, fundraising is a must. And, and you've got a wonderful event coming up on Tuesday, April the 12th. Let's talk about that a little bit. We named named it three years ago, Picnic in the Park. We had invited wonderful people to come sit at our tables in our park. We have a park with our uh, almost three-fourths of a block that we own, and um, it was a wonderful idea. Then last year, as we all prayed for rain, I forgot to ask God to take one day off of his calendar, (laughs) and so we had a very rainy picnic in the park day. We moved inside. This year, we have decided to start with inside. So on April the 12th, Uh, From 1130 to 1, we are having picnic in the park at Polk Street United Methodist Church in their great hall. It is a wonderful buffet. We are actually bringing in our very first graduate, uh, Jill Pryor Ripa from Colorado now. Um, She will be our speaker to tell us how the past was, the present is, and the future will be. Um, And with that in mind, we would love to have the community come and be with us It is a a video from our moms and our children. Mm -hmm. It is, of course, Jill's um, testimony. And we would love for the community to be with us. It is uh, $50 a ticket, or you can purchase a table at three different levels, four different levels, uh, $5,000, $2,500, $1,250, or $750. And we label them according to the levels of college, uh, a senior or graduate, uh, a junior, a sophomore, and a freshman. Well, how would people get tickets if they're interested in attending? They can call the Sunshine Cottage number, which is 803-9357. Tell us, please, whether you would like to purchase a ticket or tickets, or would you like to purchase a table for eight? And all of our tables are for eight. Um, We are so excited. We will have pictures up, big pictures up of excitement of our graduates, of our children, it, the pictures and the video and the the uh, talk that Jill is going to give will tell so much of our story, and it paints a picture. And we want the community to know how proud we are. And it's not like we are a standalone mm-hmm. entity. I go to Dorcas at the Face City Mission Family Shelter. I go to Connie Garcia at Martha's Home. I go to Diane Gilmore at the Downtown Women's Center. And we all talk about People that they have, Mm -hmm. are those people ready? Are they determined? Are they ready to focus on the many things that it takes for them to focus on, to be a great mom, to juggle a part-time job and great grades? And so it's, I'm the next step for their families that they have with them. So it's a working 
consortium. I just happen to be, when they get in that boat, then they can get out of that boat and come to us. Now, I know it's April right now, which means, you know, the, the semester is kind of getting close to the end and, and you've got, you know, working moms uh, going to school. Finals are around the corner and that is such a stressful time for, for anybody. I can only imagine a single mom with a part-time job, how stressful that can be. And y'all do something special for, for the ladies during finals. Is that we correct? Do. And think of that mom with one, two, three three, four children, and Mm -hmm. we have all of those. They come home from school, from work. They know they have to study. They know their children have to study. So what we do during finals week is we have the community to help us to have prepared meals already ready for them. Freezer meals that all they say is this is how you're going to cook it. They can put that in their crock pot early in the morning. They can put it in the oven when they get home. And then we encourage fresh fruit. And of course, Somewhere in a sugar cookie has to be some food group that's healthy. Oh, so, absolutely. <laughs> you know, you have to have a little bit of a treat now and then. So we encourage that extra snack to go with it. But we do, for the week of finals, provide their evening meals to all of the families. So if someone's out there that wants to donate uh, some meals and whatnot, how do they go about doing that and when do you need them by? We need the meals by the very last of April because there are some professors who choose their own date, not mm-hmm. just a designated schedule for finals. So we try to have all their finals. Finals ready for the first of their finals meals ready for the first week in uh, May and the first two or three days uh, the second week. But they can call again our Sunshine Cottage number, which is 803 9357, and tell us that they, as an individual or as a group, would like to provide uh, possibly fruit or uh, casseroles or cookies or whatever they feel would be a benefit to help them have their. Um, their meals prepared. Wonderful. And I know a couple of years ago, you guys had a fire at the Sunshine Cottage, but coming up June 1st, oh, uh, my it's a goodness. good day. We are so excited. We did have a fire. It was not a pleasant scenario. It was in our very first building. Um, it was contained to the very upper floor. But as we went through contractors, the city, insurance people, we all discussed and felt because our building was 85 years old, that even though we do have some insurance money, we needed to tear it down and start over with fresh. So um, June the 1st, we will be able to move in two new families, beautiful structure, three bedrooms, bath and a half, open concept downstairs, so that we can take on two more families and see their rays of sunshine just glow and produce. So um, that is a celebration for us. We will then be able to house eight families at a time. And as you well understand, a college degree does not come overnight. Right. So some of our moms are with us two, three, four, even five years, whatever degree plan they choose. But when they walk out away from us with 80 to 85 to 90 percent is what our graduation rate is with a college degree, they're going to have taken some time. So it's not like we can say we go through masses. We don't. But we work very concentrated on what we do. Well, Evelyn, real quick before uh, we uh, wrap this up, Santa in the Summer coming up on August 27th. Santa in the Summer is our uh, Evelyn Rivers Christmas Project event. Um, It will be April the 20th, I mean, excuse me, August the 27th at our Christmas Project location. And we will give you more of that as it comes along. Well, thanks for dropping in and talking with us today. Thank you. I appreciated the day.